Mark Twain wrote, "Mauritius was made first, and then heaven. Heaven was replicated after Mauritius." It's simple to see where he's coming from. Honeymooners flock to Mauritius for its idyllic beaches and long, warm days, but Paradise Island has a lot to offer. The island nation of Mauritius is second only to Madagascar in terms of wildlife tourism, outdoor adventure, gourmet cuisine. And opulent hotels and spas. In today's video, we will explore the top 10 best places to visit in Mauritius. But before we get started, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Number 10, Les Souffleurs. Those who aren't afraid to take chances should come here. Located on a cliff face. Les Souffleurs is a half-formed grotto, a geyser-like fountain rises to 20 meters in the air during harsh weather, accessible only by 4WD and with permission from the nearby Savannah Sugar Estate, but well worth the effort. Number 9. Chamorel Waterfall and Seven Colored Earth Chamorel Falls in Mauritius is the island's tallest waterfall at 100 meters. Bring your cameras because this place is full of photo opportunities. The water crashing down may be seen from a viewing platform at the summit of this magnificent spectacle. The shallow waters at the base of the falls are ideal for a refreshing plunge, so pack a swimsuit if you plan on doing so. Number 8. Grand Bay Grand Bay is the Mauritius' most popular tourist location, and for a good reason. It won't take you off the beaten road, but it will provide you with all you need for a day on the sea. It was only a little fishing village barely 20 years ago. You will find a plethora of beaches, sites, and excursions in this area, which is sometimes referred to as the Trop. Visit the aquarium and the Le Adventure du Sucre Museum, which feature interactive exhibits. You can do scuba diving, water skiing, sailing, or windsurfing if you're into water sports. Nightlife and fine dining abound, so come prepared to be pleasantly surprised. Number 7. Blue Penny Museum the Blue Penny Museum, one of the best on the island, houses a wide variety of fascinating exhibits. You'll learn about the history of Mauritius here, including colonial settlement, exploration, and the peak of the island's colonial era. The legend of Paul and Virginie can also be learned. Number 6. Isle Ox Agrets, the Egret Island. The Ilox Agrets, a limestone land in the Mahibo Bay, is a stunning sight. You'll note that the terrain is very different from that of the main land, which is made up of volcanic rock. Many say that it is the final resting place of the dodo, and it is currently home to the last remaining dry coastal forest in Mauritius. Number 5. The Maheborg Few people visit the ancient capital of Mahebor to get a sense of old Mauritius. Built on the site where the Dutch first arrived at the end of the 16th century, rustic restaurants with lovely patios, a bustling market, stunning beaches, and wonderful but also spicy street cuisine are here. Mauritius has a fascinating tiny museum dedicated to the British-French war on the island and the bell salvaged from a lost vessel is a central part of the country's folklore. As a sleepy town, it attracts a steady stream of visitors. Number 4. The Black River Gorges National Park The Black River Gorges National Park, 
with its more than 6,000 acres of land, is an excellent location for exploring the area's native forests and fauna. Over 300 varieties of flowering plants and endangered pink pigeon, enormous fruit bats, and much more may be found at the park. It's impossible to exaggerate the significance of the conservation activities here, which are situated in one of the most beautiful parts of the island. The Alexandra Waterfall is a main attraction for many visitors. It is home to several species of plants, primates, birds, and hard hiking paths. Number 3. The Point d'Esne and Blue Bay Point d'Esne and Blue Bay are the island's most popular beaches. Here the beaches are white sand and a beautiful blue lagoon has been properly conserved. It's peppered with vacation houses and the area truly comes to life during the summer months. The marine park in Blue Bay is home to some of Mauritius's most impressive coral reef formations. Snorkeling is a requirement while visiting this location. Number 2. Sir Siwusagar Ramgulam Botanical Garden The Sir Siwusagar Ramgulam Botanical Gardens are second only to London's Kew Gardens. To fully enjoy the uniqueness of the gardens, visitors are urged to hire a tour from the staff. Victoria Amazonica water lilies, which are only found in South America, are the star attraction at the SSR Gardens on the island. Number 1. Grand Basin This Hindu pilgrimage place sits around 1,800 meters, that's 6,500 feet, above sea level. Locals believe that the lake's water is sacred since it comes from the Ganges River, India. During Mahashivaratri, Mauritius Hindus travel from their houses to undertake the pilgrimage. The 108-foot-tall statue of Lord Shiva was completed in 2007 and is a must-see. Beautiful sights abound as you paddle your way around the lake. Make your pilgrimage and enjoy a peaceful mountain trip. Give a like to this video and let us know which place you found the most interesting in the comments. And if you're not subscribed yet, press that subscribing button and stay tuned for our next video.